Hey guys, do you want to learn how I got this beautiful silk wrap using Design Essentials Agave and Lavender Silk Press Collection? If so, keep watching. Okay, so for product selection, you want to go in with step one, which is the moisturizing hair bath. Step two, which is the moisturizing and detangling conditioner. Step three, which is the blow dry and styling primer. Step four, which is a thermal protectant cream. You want to grab some edge control. And then a wide tooth comb, some clips, a rat tail comb, an edge brush, and a blow dryer. So for step one, we're going to go in and shampoo our hair using the moisturizing hair bath. And what this is going to do is going to go ahead and hydrate and soften our hair. So you want to make sure you get a nice size amount in your hands and emulsify the product really well. And then you're going to rub through. Um, massaging the hair and scalp. This product gently cleanses, softens, and moisturizes and smooths the cuticle for easy blow drying and healthier looking hair. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure our scalp is massaged and get that hair nice and clean, cleaning around the ears, cleaning around the edges and just scrubbing. Um, look at the lather. Ooh, it's definitely giving my hair a bath. So we're going to rinse and then we're going to go ahead and towel blot the hair and get ready for step two. So step two is the moisturizing and detangling conditioner. And this is going to smooth and strengthen the, my hair. And what it does is offer intense moisture, it softens and detangle even the curliest hairs. And it smooths the hair for easy glide through blowouts that last longer. So I'm gonna rub this through my hair and then I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and comb through starting from the ends to the roots of my hair. And I'm gonna leave this on for one to three minutes. So I'm getting nice and combed through and just let it sit. So then I'm gonna rinse this out and towel blot and then get ready for step number three which is the blow dry and styling primer so you want to shake it really well to activate the product um, and this is just going to give my hair a faster blow dry and it's going to give me a heat guard so this is basically the thermal protectant and what this does it just penetrates the hair to condition and mend split ends for an easier glide through blowout experience so I'm going to spray that through and I'm going to comb it with a wide tooth comb and get it nice and evenly distributed throughout my hair. So making sure it's on everything. So next I'm going to part my hair in four sections. Parting my hair in four sections just allows my hair um, to be easily managed. Um, I can just focus on one section at a time, making sure this hair and scalp is completely dry. So you always want to try to section your hair off when blow drying. It just makes it so it's such an easier experience and you can make sure that the sections are fully dry, which has to be done in order to flat on the hair. So I'm just showing you these four sections and how I do that. So I'm grabbing my old school blow dryer that I've been having for a very, very long time. That's why I look like this. But my blow dryer that I use at the salon is nice and new and black. It's not like this, so. Don't be laughing at my blow dryer. But anyway, so I'm going to go through blow dry my hair, each section one at a time, and just um, making sure that the scalp is dry, making sure that everything is dry. The blow dry and styling primer uh, makes a faster blow dryer dry, so you won't have to sit here blow drying your hair all day. It actually goes super quick. So I'm going to section that part back off and then I'm just going to continue with the rest of the sections. So once I am fully done with all sections, I'm just going to go back through and making sure that my scalp is completely dry. Just filling each area, making sure it feels dry to my fingers. I definitely love to just feel my scalp and make sure that um, I hit all the spots on my scalp because the worst case is you have some wet spots and then you can get burnt or cause some heat or that those spots won't get dry. So just go back through and just make sure that everything is nice and dry and it feels um, it feels good. So I'm tired of looking like this. So bam, I got dressed. Hey, so now I'm gonna go with step four and step four is the thermal protecting cream. And it's basically a moisture sealant. It helps silk in and shine the hair. And what you want to do is use about a dime size amount. You can use more though. That's how much I'm going to use for my hair. 
but if your hair is thicker or longer than my hair it's fuller than my hair if just if it's drier if it's more coarse then you can use more um, you don't want to use too much to where you weigh the hair down but you definitely want to use enough that you feel like it's uh, moisturizing your hair um, and so this is going to get your hair prepared to get silk pressed or thermostyled. So now I'm showing you my small flat iron and my medium flat iron that I'm going to use. Um, so I'm going to comb my hair up and then I like to start in the nape of my neck and I'll take about half inch sections um, and just begin a flat iron. So I don't like sectioning my hair in four just because it's harder to marry together. So I just take pieces um, half inch sections and just glide through with the comb and the flat iron. It's kind of awkward. Um, I'm left handed. So me trying to do it on this side, it looks weird and it feels weird. But, you know, you get a better flat iron look if you try to use the comb and get the comb to help guide the flat iron through. So I'm just going to continue to do this until um, my hair is completely flat ironed. So now I'm on the other side and you can see how much easier it looks. It doesn't look so awkward uh, with me flat ironing my hair. So I'm just starting at the root, taking the flat iron and just combing down with the comb in front. I do have heat resistant combs though. So if you use a non heat resistant comb, your comb will melt. So um, it is a carbon comb. They are more expensive than just a regular comb. So be mindful of that. Make sure you have a carbon comb to that resist the heat if you don't have one don't use the comb because it's going to melt um just flat on your hair without it so again half inch partings and just going all the way through going slow i'm not using a lot of passes i'm just making sure those roots are hit so now I'm done. Um, my flat iron is complete. You can see the pretty shine that's in my hair. I didn't have to use a lot of passes, um, but I want some body in my hair. So now I'm going to go through and just add a few little curls to my hair just to give my hair some body. I don't want, um, you know, I don't want it to be looking all curly. I just want it nice and full and bouncy and flowy. But just look how straight and shiny it got just by doing what I did. Nothing extra. It's not heavy. It's not weighed down. I got the proper thermal protectants that I need all the way starting from step one. From step one through step four, there was thermal protectant in this product. So I'm grateful for that and thankful for that. So I'm going to show you how I do these curls. I honestly just take sections and I just take the flat iron and just bend my wrist slightly. Nothing fancy. I just want some body in my hair. So again, I take my wrist and I just bend it slowly until the ends. And then you just get that nice, pretty, shiny body. So I'm going to show you another piece. And you just bend it i know a lot of people have a hard time curling their hair with a flat iron but honestly it's just the flick of the wrist don't force it literally just take the flat iron and just bend it just like that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish oh, i'm already sure about you and the way i feel oh, oh, you have shown Okay, so now I'm all done and you could just see the shine and the movement and the bounce in my hair and I'm just going to pull it back. I can just look at how it fingers and lays. It's light. Um, it just feels so soft. Like I definitely recommend this agave and lavender blow dry and silk press collection. And look at the bounce. Oh, get it, girl. Oh, so now I'm going to get the. Platinum Styling Edge Control Gel. I just kind of lay my edges right there um, and give it a nice sleek finish. Just lay them edges down 
and push that to the front. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and like and comment and let me know if you want some more content or what you want to see next. But again, this is my silk press using the Design Essentials Natural Agave and Lavender line, the Blow Dry and Silk Press Collection. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.